Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Farrah with another video. Um, expect a lot of videos in this coming up coming couple of days. I do have a lot of free time and I have a lot of things planned, so look forward to that. But today we're gonna be talking about Prime and old age and how it affects people in One Piece. Now, personally, I feel like there's some things that people have a wrong misconception when it comes down to Prime. Now let's take a quick dictionary definition of what Prime is. A state or time of greatest strength, vigor, or success in a person's life we're obviously talking about like physical traits here so we have to look at that in the context of a person's physical um, attributes prime essentially means when the human body reaches its physical peak and in real life i would say that would be about from like 23 years old to like 28 years old 30 max after that you're essentially not in your prime anymore when the world of one piece that's a whole new question but that's also one of the biggest questions in the one piece community as people don't really know if set character is old or in his prime especially when it comes down to individuals like kizaru and big mom both are 50 years old and it's hard for people to tell if these guys are old or still in your prime and there's arguments on both sides whereas kizaru and big mom have traits that old people have like their appearances you know they have wrinkles here and there but at the same time these guys are considered to be one of the strongest individuals in the entire series and i do have to point out that oda has a tendency to make all characters that can still fight and cause damage but he also applies a limit to that in the series so that's one major thing we have to take into consideration so at what age can we consider an individual in his prime? Now, the people in One Piece have shown to have crazy life expectancy, but technically we have to limit this to humans because we have other races out here in One Piece that have different life expectancies like the giants. So they're gonna be different from humans. Now, the longest living human at this point in the story is Dr. Kuriha, um, who is currently 141 years old after the time skip. Obviously she's very old, but she can still stand. And I think she fought pre time skip i'm not sure but she's pretty damn healthy for an old person now granted she is a doctor and and probably knows ways on how to live that long but regardless she's still a human you know if everyone takes the right path i think they can live just as old as her but she's probably just a rare case in one piece so let's say the average life expectancy of a human is about 100 years old or like 100 years old to like 120 years old which is a good estimation because it was said that giants live up to three times longer than humans and the oldest giant we've ever seen in one piece was about what was it 350 years old which was fall beard from big mom's flashback and he was pretty much at death's door and that's the oldest living giant so kill that down by time three a good estimation would be i would say 110 years old or 120 years old now given that we have that information i think prime should be somewhere between your late 20s to your late 50s in one piece your late 20s would be a period where you start to reach your physical peak whereas during your late 50s you start to lose your edge little by little probably happening to kizaru and the admirals right now um aokiji is kind of the younger one so he might still be in his prime for a while but kainu and kizaru maybe i think big mom has already passed her prime she's 68 years old she's closing in on whitebeard's age so it's kind of understandable oh uh, even though she's kind of old she can still probably hang with the people that are like top tiers in one piece uh, she's still a yonko so yeah and you can also take a look at sengoku who also retired because he felt like he was too old to still be in the front lines of battle and he was about 80 years old and his hair went all white after the time skip so that's definitely a hint that sengoku was way too old to be you know fighting in the navy but he was still still strong regardless but yeah those guys are old but they're still strong in a sense which goes back to Oda's sps of how he likes to make old people really strong but again they do have limits now in terms of combat ability one thing i feel like people forget is that devil fruit abilities are not restricted by age while physical stats and hockey are affected by old age obviously as one grows older they tend to lose their drive and ambition um pretty much your hockey uh basically we saw this on many occasions with Rayleigh and Whitebeard. Whitebeard couldn't even use King's Haki. Well, he was sick and he was old, so maybe that played a factor. But if we take a look at Rayleigh, Rayleigh could only use his Conqueror's Haki once for an entire day or so. So it kind of hints that your Haki definitely gets weaker with age, or you don't have the durability or stamina to use it like you were using it before in your prime days. So there's definitely a weakness, or it gets weaker as age as you get older, unlike Devil Fruits, which kind of like stay the same regardless of what age you are except Zoan 
devil fruit as the one devil fruit abilities kind of use your base they kind of use your base and it goes up from there if you're in your prime and you have a zone there's a good chance that zone is going to be physically stronger than if you're old and you have a zone so yeah zones are, are the only exceptions and certain paramecia it really depends on what paramecias we're talking about here and for logias not not at all those guys are completely unaffected by old age and this is why i think white beard was stronger than garp at marine fort which a lot of people think otherwise you know people are using the argument that garp was only stronger than um white beard because of he was old and he was healthy but white beard was old and sick and they were about the same level in their prime days um we estimate that you know they were about the same level because they were compared to roger at some point in their life but we have to understand that garp relies heavily on hockey as i just stated before that kind of weakens with age whereas whitebeard who was sick but still had a devil fruit that was unrestricted and one of the strongest devil fruits at that so it's basically garb's old hockey versus whitebeard's unrestricted quake fruit and i definitely think whitebeard would have the edge against garb in a fight um obviously um in marine ford uh prime whitebeard versus garb is a whole different question another trait that also weakens as you get older is your physical attributes such as your muscles bone density and everything else and this is where it kind of gets scary when it comes down to whitebeard whitebeard at his old and sick age was capable of overwhelming a giant we can only imagine what young or prime whitebeard was capable of physical wise and this is why there's a lot of hype on weevil because he was compared to young whitebeard so weevil might be some monster that might be capable of really taking out marco because if old and sick whitebeard was doing all of that and we can imagine what prime whitebeard was capable of doing physical wise and if weevil has the strength of a young whitebeard that's gonna be crazy i don't see too many people manhandling um weevil at this point because like a young whitebeard yeah there's a lot of hype on weevil and he should definitely show up soon now going back to the old prime thing now this is my personal thoughts i don't really think the gap between one's old self and prime self is that crazy for example if prime whitebeard fought against an old whitebeard just old not sick it would still be a high difficult fight i feel like i don't think it's gonna be mid i uh, might be mid i don't know but i feel like people put prime leagues and bounds above what i think it should be if prime was a hundred percent i'd say an old version of that person would be like a 75 percent to like an 85 percent in, in terms of strength and power but yeah i feel like the term prime is usually abused in the one piece community usually in a versus battle fight when prime is brought up that character usually gets the win because he was in his prime and people act like the pirates and the marines of this generation are nothing compared to those in the last generation which i think is wrong you know i'm pretty sure kaido shanks big mom and even blackbeard would all give prime roger whitebeard and even garp a high difficulty fight or even a kainu and prime sengoku and any other you know old generation marines or admirals they would definitely put a high difficulty fight even if they lose and technically the new generation should surpass the old one but that's my two cents on that situation there but when it comes down to old characters in one piece i usually define them by the term restricted top tiers they can do top tier abilities but are restricted due to stamina durability or um, some different factor that doesn't make them work as they should like in their prime days and with that in mind I think prime is somewhere between the ages of your late 20s so maybe like your 25s so maybe like 25 years old to like reaching your 30s to your late 50s which is about the time you start to lose your edge maybe your observation isn't working as it should and i would say somewhere between your 30s to your 40s is like your direct prime like this is where you're definitely the strongest but that's just my thoughts um comment down below what you think like the video if you like it subscribe for more one piece content on my channel hit the notification bell if you want to get notified for more videos on this channel because of youtube it's kind of crazy and it is fair guys and i will see you guys later peace